Hi movie fans, the 12th of May 2018 is the 59th birthday of actor Ving Rhames. A Golden Globe winner, Rhames' acting career began in 1984. He worked steadily in film and television over the following decade before his career really took off after being cast in Pulp Fiction in 1994. After that, Rhames would enjoy years of critical and box office success with big action blockbusters and smaller dramatic productions. In 1996, Rhames got a role in the first Mission Impossible movie and would go on to appear in five of the films of the franchise, with his sixth being released later this year with Mission Impossible Fallout. Here are the Firewall's top 10 Ving Rhames movies. At number 10 is Blood In, Blood Out. Based on the true story of Paco, Cruz and Miklo, who are members of the Vato Locos, a street gang in East LA, but after a feud with a rival gang escalates, the lives of the three drastically change. Reigns plays Ivan, a gang intervention coordinator. The running time is 180 minutes, and Blood In, Blood Out has the firewall rating of 7 out of 10. At number 9 is The Saint of Fort Washington. Matthew suffers from schizophrenic tendencies and finds himself living on the street. During a stay at a nearby shelter, he meets streetwise Jerry and the two decide to stick together for safety. Rames plays little Leroy, who preys on the homeless. The running time is 103 minutes and the Saint of Fort Washington has the firewall rating of 7. At number 8 is Don King, Only in America. Rames won a Best Actor Golden Globe for his portrayal of Don King in this TV movie about how the notorious fight promoter and boxing manager became involved in the sport, his controversies and his rise to the top. The running time is 121 minutes and Don King Only in America has the firewall rating of 7. At number 7 is Con Air. This classic 90s action flick sees Cameron Poe, a soft-spoken convict, board a prisoner transport plane which is then taken over by the criminals but Poe is just interested in getting home to his family. Rames plays gang member Nathan Diamond Dog Jones. The running time is 115 minutes and Con Air has the firewall rating of 7.2. At number 6 is Rosewood. Based on the Rosewood massacre which occurred in Florida in 1923 Rames plays Man, a drifter who arrives in Rosewood looking for land to buy, but after a false accusation about a black man attacking a white woman, the black residents become targets. The running time is 140 minutes, and Rosewood has the firewall rating of 7.4. At number 5 is Mission Impossible 3. The third film in the Mission Impossible franchise, obviously, Ethan Hunt is retired as an IMF agent and is planning to get married, but when a vicious arms dealer surfaces with talks of the mysterious rabbit's foot, Hunt is forced back to the agency. The running time is 126 minutes, and Mission Impossible 3 has the firewall rating of 7.4. At number 4 is Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol. The fourth film in the franchise in which Reigns makes an uncredited cameo as computer expert Luther Stickle as Ethan Hunt must put together a new team and go rogue when the IMF is shut down after being implicated in a bombing at the Kremlin. The running time is 132 minutes and Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol has the firewall rating of 7.8. At number 3 is Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. The Syndicate is a criminal organisation which few outside of Ethan Hunt believes exist, but after being captured by them, Hunt makes them his mission. But he and his team have to go it alone when the IMF is once again targeted for its methods. The running time is 131 minutes and Mission Impossible Rogue Nation has the firewall rating of 8. At number 2 is Guardians of the Galaxy 2. This MCU sequel sees the group of heroes dealing with the events of the first film, but after getting into trouble with a sovereign race, the group is saved by a man who claims to be Peter Quill's father. Rames makes a quick appearance as Charlie 27. The running time is 136 minutes, and Guardians of the Galaxy 2 has the firewall rating of 8.1. At number 1 is Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction weaves a web of seemingly unrelated stories and characters before cleverly bringing them into alignment. Reigns plays Marcellus Wallace, a gangster who sends hitmen to pick up a briefcase and who is searching for boxer Butch. 
The running time is 154 minutes, and Pulp Fiction has the firewall rating of 9.1. Thanks for watching. Next week I'll be counting down the firewall's top 10 singles of The Who. Don't forget to subscribe for more top 10s and reviews.